Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore, the Tooth and Claw edition, and we have come here this far with our little Leopoldi into the reaches of space. So it has been a long journey ever since we were a tiny little cell getting eaten by everybody, all the way up through our glitchy tribal stage and into the amazing civilization Gundam Conquest stage, and now we get to sit back and just look at the absolute beauty that is this, this little formation this rare space formation i love this thing but yes we are in space our home world is right here and we are working on our missions and our quest we currently have a useless colony stuck out way in the boondocks that isn't really able to do much and to get the terraforming tools we need to improve our colony and get the money we need in order to start putting down some colonies on nearby planets that have some excellent spice resources we need to find some aliens to contact so i do believe we explored no we didn't explore over here we explored over here last time and any aliens any aliens 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 it looks like we're gonna just have to do a little bit of exploring today which I'm totally fine with there's some cute little planets over here all right we'll explore that in just a second so that is what Ooh, there's some little creatures all this red spice red spice red spice we want to find some of the rare colored spices for sure but I love this because we are back out we're exploring there's some little herbivores here apparently and we are with the Leopoli too, so they're not going to be quite as science-y based as the Finnaw. But as I keep mentioning, we definitely will be going ahead and researching some of the animals. So if you guys end up seeing a creature that you kind of want to take... Oh, like what's down here? Hello, little ones! A Mintropod, huh? It looks like there's a lot of these guys. They must eat off of these cactus-looking thingies. These ozzle things. Alright, I'm going to pick this up. I don't want to... I didn't want to pick you up! <laughs> I'm trying to pick the plant up. Oops, I dropped one. Can I, can I like put these down? I don't really need them. They're like, oh my gosh, run away. Oh well, looks like I have some of them now. I just wanted some of your cactuses. Maybe I want to make some cool like cactus juice. You know what I mean? All right, gonna grab some of those. What are these little things? Are they tiny little plants? Yeah, they've got some cool things here. You know what, I'm gonna take a couple trees. Take that, there we go. All right, I'm getting too full up because I have just the tiniest. Oh, hang on, that was really cool looking. It was a spice geyser that was inside like a little water thing. I want to look at it again. Where'd it go? The water here is really interesting. All right, and I like the little puddles. It is kind of like a desert sort of planet, isn't it? I love studying the planets. Ah, look, 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 look. That's cool. It's like a little puddle where the spice geyser is. It's like a little oasis. Oh, and it has a whole bunch of creatures right over it. Those creatures look different. What on earth are you guys? It's a morning star turtle! That is so cool looking! Let's take a closer look at them. So here are morning star turtles and they look like the perfect kind of desert planet like animal for sure. And actually if you guys have some cool names for the planets uh, to rename them to like suit what they are more. So when we mouse over them we can tell like oh that's the desert morning star planet or something. Let me know because you can use a cheat to rename planets and I'm totally okay with that because it makes it much easier when we're trying to get through space. So let's go ahead, keep moving, keep moving, keep grooving. We abducted some animals, poking around our own neighborhood. Come over here. Don't see any aliens just yet. What's over here? But yeah, to keep it interesting, I personally, oh my gosh, yes, purple. I personally could spend forever like zipping around space stage and be totally fine. But as I keep mentioning again and again, just because I want to reassure you guys, yes, my blossom trees, though I don't think that's what the the Leo play would specialize in for their trees. We will be switching over to creature stage every now and then to closely study like different animals to say like we would be like okay we need to study this species of slug then we would go and we would play them in creature stage for like a few episodes some two or three episodes maybe something like that just to kind of shift things up a little bit but for now we're with the leo plea and we're probably going to be with them for a little while because we're just sort of exploring around and trying to get to the point where we can find the finnaw so let's just focus on actually doing what i'm supposed to be doing now all right where is an alien planet is, is, are we getting a reaction there? I don't think we're getting a reaction. No. Man, we might really have to explore for, oh, 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 here we go. I was going to say explore for a while, but we finally got a positive response. And over here, too. All right, well, I think that one's pretty close. All right, let's work our way over there. 
We might have to go back for energy really quickly though. Oh, and there's something over there. There's some creatures lurking on some of these planets. As much as I want to study all of them, let's just try to get some things done. Oh, it's pirates. <laughs> ah, something's not right here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> We're being attacked by Planet Express. We're being attacked right now by Planet Express. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh dear. All right, get out of here, guys. Get out of here. All right, down goes Planet Express. Sorry, Fry. Hey, where do you think you're going? Did I get both of them? I think the other guy tried to get away. I think I got him. There we go. So that that was actually pirates. The Planet Express pirates. That was that was pretty hilarious. All right, I have no problem. Up oh, up oh, up oh, up oh, up. Oh. Can I get you? Can I get you? I don't know. Can I fight them? Are they still fighting me? All right. So Planet Express has escaped to live another day. I'm going to pop over here and heal up really quickly because we're about to confront for the very first time another alien race. All right, permission to orbit. Need my repairs, please. Can I trade anything with them? Ah, man, the colony and credit packs are so expensive. I can give them the Book of Science and the giant emerald. I'll just sell the emerald to the home world. So I, I almost wish there was a way like I could keep a list of all the treasures that the Leoplea and the Fena have found so that then we could like compare them. And, and even if we just had to like pretend they had them, that would be really fun. So emerald, we are going to go ahead and sell this emerald to our people so we can have it on the home planet and say that we now have a big giant emerald inside of our collection. All right, this is actually a pretty, like there's a lot of planets there. They all have spices. Um, what about this one? I wanna make sure I check them all out on our way there. All right, so this one just has like some creatures, a lot of comets though. Wow, and look at this, it's got a huge trail. There must have been a planet there once and then it got blown up. <gasps> look at this, it's like a giant ocean planet. Oh, is it a special planet? You have discovered a barren planet. Barret planets can sustain a limited colony or you can improve the terrace score to establish a flourishing spaceport for your empire. Absolutely awesome. It is totally barren because there's just nothing on it. Really cool looking though. All right, let's zoom along. Oh, and it has some treasure. It has a scroll. Ooh, book three from the Book of Collections on Science. Yes, and we can have a basic cargo hold now. We actually have two books of science. That is, I wonder what that means for the Leo play. I wonder if that means their scientific advancements are going to like jump ahead. Maybe their military advancements as a result. It's as much fun as you can add story to the game yourself, you guys. So it's totally worth it. Jossia, huh? What does Jossia look like? Because it's going to be a green spice planet. We'll probably definitely need to add it. Oh, we could call it like a dragon planet or something. It's covered in bumps. Scaly bumps and spiky things. Ooh. Good for the Leoplea. I think the Leoplea prefer their planets to be purple. The Finna prefer their planets to mostly be green. But the Leoplea are purple. So I think that would feel most natural to them. There's another one of these cool formations. I basically want like ports by all these formations. I wonder if these formations would start to have... Oh, here we go. Sightseer 1 badge. Ooh, we're already leveling up. Dang. Go, our little captain. Go, Janet. All right, we're Commander Janet now. Pretty awesome. We have yet another one of these amazing formations. I almost feel like we need to rename them after like famous Leoplay. And I wonder if they would have like some sort of deep, deep cultural or maybe even religious significance for the Leoplay. Like I said, as much story as you want to add to it, that's how much fun it can be. I, I'm really in the mood to like rewatch all of Star Trek Voyager and Deep Space Nine and that might be having an influence on why I want to make this like something really important. I'm pretty sure the Bajorans like worshipped something like this. It was kind of like a, a, a warp hole, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I'm, I'm diverging. My my <laughs> Trekkie uh, roots are showing. Oh gosh. All right, let's go ahead and that's just a boring looking planet. Nothing on it. Time to make first contact. All right, here we are. You've got a tiny puny star down there. Radio signals are emitting from this star. We're gonna fly in and explore. Hello, isolated person. If we hurry fast enough and put like colonies right over here, they shouldn't be able to expand too far because they would have to take them over. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
It's the first time we're running into somebody. They have a pretty cool looking ship, not gonna lie. Drake's equation was right. A living alien race. We are not alone. It looks like they have sent an envoy to greet you. Perhaps you should talk to them. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to them. Uh, ooh, look at that. Yes, we're starting to get some of the terraforming rewards. The Aram Empire, huh? And it's I think it's first contact for both of us. Fascinating alien life form. What are you called? Um, behold, I am from the great and mighty planet Neothiston. Who besides you? Oh, what the heck even are you? He's like, oh, he's an alien. Like, a, of course he's an alien. He's an elephant. That's what I was trying to say. Wow. Wow. I'm not as small as you think, but let's continue. It's only reasonable to argue that if you didn't tell us what you want, we won't be able to help you. All right, so what kind of, uh, all right, we need to be a little calmer. Diplomacy. Tell me about your philosophy. The scrolls of science! No way! They're gonna love us! Because we have the scrolls of science! They must have once upon a time, like, or maybe had something abducted. The scrolls of science we own might be, like, part of theirs. We believe that the survival of the species is based on managing risk. How do you evaluate risk? Through study, careful examination. We are not in the business of following our whims. We have the power to research all life and the power to destroy life on a planet with a single gravitation wave, such as our superpower. That's fascinating. Thank you for sharing. Um, gosh, like more diplomacy? I accept our gift. Is trade route? Not really. Alliance would benefit us both. We don't really have enough of an impression to do an alliance. We don't really need to do a quest just like yet, but we can give them these precious scrolls of science. <gasps> and they've got colony credit packs for cheap. Yes. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to give them both the scrolls of science. And they're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing in the world. And we'll give them our pathetic, like, spice collection. Because then we can come over and get both of these in colony and credit packs from them. Fantastic. All right. And we can also do the level train things, but I'm going to wait on that. So now what do they think of us? They like the trading and the introductions. Um, right. Is there anything that needs doing? We could just ask once maybe. If our calculation's correct, there's definitely something big happening on the surface. If it's not too much inconvenience, could you travel there and investigate? So pa pain rock surface. Uh, tell me more. Um, leave the spaceship. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I'm not interested right now, maybe later. Because it's a big, like, hassle to actually do the, the space quest. But we probably will. If you guys think we should, then we probably will. The Leo play are pretty aggressive. But I don't know. I like this RM Empire race. So they're also on Red Spice. No wonder they weren't that impressed with us. And we're not really allies, but we're not really enemies. I feel like we need to settle Jossia really quickly. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave a colony on Jossia. Uh, now? No, it's a T0, though. You know what? If they settle on Jossia, we'll just have to fight them for it. So we're going to head back home. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's blue spice on this planet. Oh, somebody's trying to contact us. Explain your presence among the spores chosen on an island empire. Ooh, now there is a group we can probably pick a fight with pretty soon. Let's go ahead and we are going to put a colony down on this T1 planet over here because it is blue spice and that's worth quite a lot. It's very lovely here, isn't it? I think, let's see, what do we need? Just a colony to like kind of settle it all right so let's go ahead i don't want to destroy i try so hard not to destroy a lot of the areas um but sometimes you just can't help it all right over here over here over here i don't want to destroy the spices um no i don't want to destroy that and i still have to terraform it in the future so let's put it over here all right little colony you're going to be my first successful like spice producing colony I need the money that you're going to give me. Alright, pop on up. There we go. Come on now. There we go. There's our big Gundam. And we can actually drink our drink. We can actually breathe the air here. So that's going to be super useful. So we have the drought generator and the atmosphere generator. We've expanded to sol three solar systems. Fantastic. So drought and atmosphere generator are going to be very useful. Let's go ahead. Come down in here. And we can actually add things in. Yay! I think we're just going to pick, uh, you know what, this is kind of, 
I mean, I mean, like the house would be the horned garden, perhaps. Maybe the humble meadows? I'm okay with the humble meadows, actually. Like, we'll, we'll try to vary it up on each planet so that things are suitable for that planet. Um, though some things might be more cultural, like the fact that I'm pretty sure that these guys would actually really enjoy having their, um, their barbecue. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that they're still happiest with the barbecue for their entertainment center. I need to go back to the Sporpedia website and, like, download just tons of creatures. Tons more creatures. Tons more builds. And you guys can always email them to me at well, as well if you, like, have some. Because that would be pretty cool, too. And then factory. Um, what kind of factory? I think maybe this tree thing. So we'll put this tree thing down and say that like this is kind of an agricultural community. And that's why we have the different... Let's go ahead and put the tree thing down. Yeah, there we go. So this would be the factory because we're going to say this is an agricultural sort of based planet. And that's why they have kind of like these houses. So maybe the more like uh, relaxed, laid back sort of... Leo Plea can like live here. Maybe that's what they're here for. And let's put down a factory. Let's see. I think this one and then a house so we can have people working. We need a lot of workers. So more people working. And that's all I can put down though. I, we need a lot of workers, but we also don't need a lot of miserable people. <laughs> so it's kind of like a balance. Well, you know what? Um. And I think the more people we have in the colony... Okay, we'll keep them happy for now. But that's just because they're our first colony. Alright, there you go, guys. Yay, I can start buying some more health. And I can start buying some more of the blaster things. So there's our, our first successful colony, in my opinion. Good, good, good. Can't wait to be able to upgrade that one. I kind of like it. I, I kind of want to give it a new name. Because it's like a new farming colony, too. I really want to rename like entire systems if I could, just so I can figure out where the heck everything is. All right, so we have one useless colony up here, one useful colony over here. Uh, we need to complete our mission. Let's see, and I think there was another spot. Oh yeah, the pink area. Well, we definitely want to colonize that zone, and we probably want to explore in more spots too. I don't think there was anything else that's green spice. But we'll be able to get green spice from there. We definitely need to like put down something on the pink spice. So let's go ahead and come over here and put down something on the blue spice planet right here. Just so that we can get this system under our control. Very lovely twisty planet. Oh yeah, this is the one with the blossoms. Nice. I feel like this would also be kind of to Leo play color, color preferences. Uh, and it needs to be stabilized though. So I did actually pick up one of these little Mintropod guys, but I don't know if he's who I would want here. Um, let's go ahead. We probably need to stabilize this colony first. So let's go back home. Let's find something cool. We need one carnivore, one herbivore of really awesome awesomeness. Oh, where where are those? Uh, was it this guy? I want I want the Morning Star guy. Is he on here or was he over here? This is why we have to rename the planets. I'm pretty sure this is Morning Star planet. Yeah, I want the morning star guys. Where'd they go? All right, those little morning stars. They're all herbivores here. All right, oh, there's some down here. All right, where is he? There he is. All right, I'm gonna select a healthy individual. I didn't mean to take that many. All right, so we've got one of the morning star guys and then we just need a really cool carnivore that we can put down for our new colony. So awesome. I can't believe we were attacked by Planet Express. That was kind of hilarious. All right, come back over here. Do do do, how you doing? The download from your data recorder was quite amazing, Captain. We had no idea other spacefaring civilization, space civilizations were so close by. I like the elephant guys, too. We are well on our way to establishing our place in the galactic community. It's probably a good idea to forge good relationships with this race. We may need an ally in the future. Take assignments from them will hopefully keep them in our good graces. They may also be interested in trade, which is what we did with the... the I'll say we made copies of like all of those cool science things. But we probably missed out on some stuff, but it wasn't worth it for the money. All right, I'm in. Our cities have been busy producing spice in record amounts, resulting in a surplus. We need you to look for potential buyers among spacefaring empires to help boost our wealth. Uh, add the spice you've already collected to our home world by visiting our colonies. The spice will be automatically uploaded uh, into the colony's cargo, uh, in which, like, we know this by now. All right, then we're going to go sell our spice. That's what we want to do. 
we want to go ahead and sell our spice. I need to actually recharge while we're here. Can I trade anything useful? Not really. I'm so poor. I have no money now. <gasps> I forgot. It costs money to run a colony. It costs money to put down all of those things. I'm so used to being the rich finna. I totally forgot about that. You guys produce blue spice faster. Wait, did they just produce some blue spice while I was like staring at them? Blue spice, yes. All right, let's come over here. Congratulations on your little empire. Ooh, and they take red spice for quite a bit. So there we go. Now I'm not quite so dirt poor. Darn, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to like put down anybody, put down anything, I should say, on this planet. But we need to take this pink spice area, or at least the colony or the system that it's in, before anybody else does. Pink spice is so valuable. Purple spice is too, so we'll have to go find that purple spice later too. All right, let's go ahead, put down another colony in Credipak. Oh, that's such a cool sound. The satisfaction of knowing that we're changing a whole planet. So awesome. All right, clear away all those rocks. Come on now, there we go. And let's see if we can stabilize the terror score here. Oh, I still need to get another carnivore, don't I? All right, something that would eat slugs and these morning star turtles. So that's actually, <laughs> I'm giving like whatever carnivore needs to come here. The option between, oh look, there's slugs up here too. The option between something with a really hard shell or no shell at all. So I wonder, I have a feeling the slugs are probably gonna be eaten more often. <laughs> so let's go find a, a cool looking carnivore somewhere. Is there a carnivore up here on this little planet? So it's a T1. I think it just had herbivores, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's just herbivores, no carnivore. These are really freaking awesome trees, though. I want, like, an entire forest of these trees for future projects. All right, there we go. Is this is this a little red plant? Wow. I'm not used to seeing red plants, either. Wow, look at that lollipop plant. That is so cool. All right, well, enough dilly-dallying. Let's just finish this up with a cool carnivore. That's what we're looking for. Cool carnivore. Um, nothing over there. Nothing there. I don't know about there. Did we didn't Oh, that's the the cool pulsar thing. All right, let's explore over here. Do we have a cool carnivore? Maybe Pactosis. Really got to rename the planets into something cool. All right. Ah, there's a carnivore present. All right, let's see if it's cool enough or not. It's an omnivore no less. I want to see if it's cool enough to add to our planets. I like all the green plants here. That bodes well. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's frogs on a mushroom! Huh. Is that cool enough to add to our colony? They're pretty cool. I do like frogs on a mushroom. All right, we're going to grab frogs on a mushroom. And let's go put them down on our planet. I hope as an omnivore, it'll count as a... a carnivore because sometimes it doesn't fill the slot correctly so we'll see if they survive or not to our planet all right do 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 do, do, do. can't wait till we can fly faster all right and of course they haven't produced anything yet because we haven't set up the colony so let's see if we can set up the colony all right frogs on a mushroom i think that you would eat a lot of slugs frogs eat slugs oh jeez, that startled me Completing terraforming. You have completed a row of the ecosystem. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay, so hopefully that'll help with the terra score of this planet. And let's come on over. And this planet's a little bit harsher than some of the others. So I would say let's go with our normal horned garden house. And for entertainment, I wonder if they would prefer to be like inside something because it's kind of like not that nice to be outside right now. <laughs> if you ask me, I could totally understand if you wouldn't want to go in like inside. So let's just do like this kind of maybe technology based building, we'll say. And then let's go ahead with a factory. Um, Mm -hmm. Let's do this like spice processing factory, archaeological workstation. There's so many cool ones. I need to download even more. People really create some amazing things. Um, let's just do the black diamond mine as usual. Yeah, let's just do black diamond mine so we can keep like some of the themes. All right, and then I have no money. No money. Do I just, I don't want to demand like too much from you guys. But you're going to be miserable until I, I see some spice results. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm making my people miserable, but the point is we're gonna have money. That's the Leo plea way. You gotta just tough it out sometimes. But all right, you guys, so we are doing fantastic. I am having so much fun. Leo plea are so awesome. And we will continue to expand our empire, add to the different planets, improve our colonies, and maybe start picking some fights with some other races next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.